ये एक मंजिल है तो रास्ते भी होंगे और एक मेंटर भी जो मुश्किलों को आसान बना दे नतीजे सहयोग नहीं होते दूसरों से बेहतर स्कोर होते हैं जीएस कोर एंड इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज गुड कैरियर इज अ प्रोसेस एंड मेंटरिंग एट जीएस स्कोर इज डिवन बाय प्राइमरी टू ऑब्जेक्टिव्स वन इज एम्पावरमेंट एंड अनदर इज एक्सेलेंस दिस इज व्हाट वी आर नोन फॉर कामयाबी की राह पर हजार से भी ज्यादा निशान जीएस कोर Hi this is Devipriya Ajit I have secured All India Rank 573 in the recent civil service exam 2022 So in this video I am going to explain about the strategies I have adopted for general studies papers preparation Actually this was my sixth attempt and my fourth mains uh, so in this attempt I have made a significant improvement in my mains marks especially in subjects like ethics I have improved my marks from around 70 in my first attempt to 114 marks and also in the general studies paper 2 I have improved my marks from around 80 to 108 so I will tell what are the method of preparation that I have used how I did the value addition to my answers how I handled myself in the exam hall and how I prioritized my studies first I will talk about the method of study that I have adopted Uh, as i was working in the kerala high court during my preparation and uh, last year i was also selected for forest service so i didn't have time for a good mains preparation due to attending the medical and working test and all so in this uh, very limited time i had to prioritize uh, my mains preparation so what i did was i did studying of only quality content based on analysis of the previous year questions for example if we say uh, if you take geography i divided geography into different subheadings like uh, resource geography human geography economic geography geomorphology oceanography like that and i have written the past uh, 10 years upsc questions on this and based on this i have analyzed which are the topics that i have to give more importance an example that i could say is if we see geography we can see every year there are questions based on water related themes like irrigation wetland conservations etc so on these topics i made answers on on an question answer pattern itself like i will prepare answers on 250 words limit in that i will prepare all the diagrams maps related to it and if there are any related government schemes or state level initiatives i will also note it down and i will also note some value added points from current affairs so in this way i prepared my notes and i revised it so the next thing i have to talk about is how i did value addition for my answers value addition is something that make our answers very unique and stand out from the crowd and it will also convince the evaluator to put more marks for our answer so if i talk about value addition if we go through each subject of the general studies uh, first we could take general studies paper 1 in that uh, we have history so in history we could add maps and timelines and what i did was there will be some uh, movements for example if we take gandhian movements it has take part in different parts of india so in any answer related to that i will draw map of india and i will label all these movements in which all parts they have happened and also in some questions i will add timelines the chronological order in which the events have happened so it will help to fill the space as well as uh, look our answer a little bit different from others and it will add more marks to us next is regarding geography for geography as everyone knows maps are very important and uh, we should know how to draw the map of india as well as world within 10 to 15 seconds so as i have spoke earlier for every subheadings under geography i have prepared maps like for economic geography different industrial corridors of india industrial regions of india then for resource geography like uh, where the mineral and metal resources are available like that i have plotted all these things in map already so whenever there is a question related to that we can write it and for geography we can also include case studies from the current examples next is society paper 
what we have to do in society paper is that we should add more dimensions to the question asked for an example if there is a question on how globalization has affected the old age population in india we could add many dimensions like how globalization has positively affected how it has negatively affected and in addition to this we can write about the future old age population in india because the future old age population will be more tech savvy so how globalization can affect old age population in the future uh, in that way we can diversify our points and write answers for society and next is paper 2 in paper 2 polity is an important subject with more mark weightage and for every polity answers it is very important to quote the related uh, supreme court judgments uh, for example if there is some question regarding the flexibility or rigidity of the constitution we can add the keshavan and the bharati case of 1973 related to basic structure and it is also important to add any committee recommendations or the articles in the constitution for example if a question of sedition is asked we can write article 19 related to freedom of speech kedarnath singh case like that next is governance in governance uh, we could mention the second administrative reform, reform commission report or other committees like punji committee sarkariya committee and we can quote the re related uh, current affairs examples etc also we could draw many diagrams flow charts in the governance section if there is any uh, state based schemes that are important some governance initiatives we could also mention it for example the schemes from our government and uh, for example in my state there is kudumbasri mission related to self help groups etc so such things we could add and related to social justice it is always better to add more statistics and the recent government schemes and make it look more illustrations uh, because in paper 2 there is less scope for illustrations like in polity and all we cannot draw it next is regarding international relations in international relations uh, we should answer to the point to the point to the question that is asked sometimes we may lack points in that case we could add some maps or diagrams for example if a question on rcep regional comprehensive economic partnership is asked we could draw on a world map which are the rcep countries and which is the trade route that is going to come like that and also we could mention any recent international summits or international dialogues that has been taken place next uh, when we come to paper 3 we have ample scope for doing many illustrations pictures diagrams etc so next is regarding paper 3 uh, paper 3 we have ample scope for many illustrations in paper 3 if we go to economics uh, we could quote uh, important words from the recent economic survey and we could add many flow charts diagrams etc usually for the economics uh, for long mark questions they will ask many sub parts so we need to answer all that sub parts with more diagrams like flow charts any graphs that is mentioned in the economic survey we could add that to show the recent trend of economy like that and next if we come to disaster management we could write state level initiatives for example the cyclone early warning system of odisha like that we could mention and also we could plot the disasters how they vary regionally in different parts of india next if we come to uh, science and tech or environment we could write many current examples state based case studies and all for this paper and if we come to paper for ethics we should have already prepared definitions for each and every term that is mentioned in the upsc syllabus of gs paper 4 and it is always better to have uh, examples of different level like examples from history examples from current affairs and also our personal level examples regarding each terms of ethics uh, for example if we consider the word integrity we should know what is the definition of integrity and we could quote an example from history like how b r ambedkar resigned from the first uh, indian ministry like that it is an example of his integrity like that we should be able to quote it and uh, regarding case studies of ethics we should be able to identify the different stakeholders and nowadays 
the upsc case studies of ethics is becoming more and more lengthy and there are more sub parts that we need to answer so it is always uh, better to answer all the questions uh, we should give more focus on quantity of the answer such that we should be able to answer all the questions within the given time of ethics so next i will talk about the prioritization of study so first we should analyze the time and the resources that are available with us and based on that we should prioritize our study in my case as i said i did my civil service and forest service preparation uh, while i was working i had very limited time and also there are many resources that are available online and it is not necessary that we should read it all so what i did was that i prioritized each paper and within that paper i prioritized the subjects also so i gave more focus to optional paper uh, because if we are people who are studying on an average level and if we attend test series in some years the pattern may change or some paper may go many difficult like that happens to general studies so if we give more focus to optional it would be better as in most cases optional will be a decision maker of our total score and chances of selection so i dedicated more time for optionals once the prelims result have came and regarding the general studies within the gs i gave more focus to ethics paper this is because if i have a good understanding of ethics i could also attend the essay paper with more confidence because now a level uh, because nowadays the essays mostly they are philosophical so the inputs of ethics would help me to answer the essay paper more properly and when come to other js papers i identified which topics had more weight, more weightage for example if we go for gs1 based on the number of questions asked out of the 250 marks we can see that geography has more weightage same applies to polity in paper 2 and economy in paper 3 so based on this i prioritized the time that i dedicated for the gs preparation next thing is regarding time management and how to write answers in the exam hall regarding time management there is 250 marks and 3 hours time that is available with us so what i did was that i will write answers for at least 80 to 90 marks questions in within an hour i will first start with those questions that i know well no matter whether it is 10 mark question or 15 mark question i will begin with those questions that i know the answer well and from that i proceed to those i don't know well because in upsc we need to answer all the questions if we need to get selected so i kept a target of i will attend 80 to 90 mark questions within an hour one of the advantage of this method is that uh, sometimes upsc may change the marking pattern because Uh, before 2017 i think it was 12.5 mark questions uh, 20 questions of 12.5 marks each so there are some chances but if we divide it in such a way that we will attend questions of 80 to 90 marks within an hour there is no problem even if the marking pattern is changed next is regarding answer writing so uh, sometimes it may be a single question or sometimes a question may have different sub parts so we should give equal weightage to both the sub parts of the question for example if it is a 250 mark question if there are two sub parts we should write 125 words each for both the sub parts and when we address a question the three things that we have to notice there will be a core part for a question and there will be a question weight or directive and there will be a limitation for example if there is a question like what are the recent governance in e governance initiative taken by different state governments of india so here the question weight is what are or what sometimes question weight may be critically analyzed or explained like that so we should notice the question weight and put it in a box then regarding the keywords keyword is or the core word is the e governance initiatives so we have identified the core or the keyword of the question then there will be some limitations in this question it is asked like in different states of india so that is the limitation we should not only write about the e governance initiative but we should write about the initiatives in different states of india like that we should decipher each and every questions that is asked by upsc so this is a good method for writing our answers and as said above we should 
add each value addition for different subjects of the general studies paper. So this is all about. Hope it will be useful for all of you. Thank you.